A public forum was held to discuss the downtown corridor project. Town manager Norman Kamalu presented some of the background of the project. That it's been over 20 years that the town has been discussing what to do with the Main Street Corridor project. And in my, in, in my eight years with the town, I have learned several things about the project. First of all, the Main Street Corridor project represents a collaborative effort to determine the safety, access, aesthetic, parking, and utility-related issues that contribute to the need to reconfigure, reconstruct, and realign Main Street. It's been made very clear to us that in pursuing this project, we have to account for how we minimize impacts on environmental, <coughs> cultural, business, residents, and historic resources. John Bichard of VHB, the company employed by the town, explained the proposal for the downtown project. Talk a little bit about our major intersections, Wood Street, Cedar Grove, and then Hayden Row Street at Marathon. <clears throat> so right now, Wood Street has kind of one lane approach in each direction on Main Street. And the stop bar is set way back because of the, the traffic gets congested and you can't make your maneuvers there. So one lane approach, it has about, on average, about five accidents per year based on the study that was done from 2009 to 2013. We're proposing to add a left turn lane from Main Street to Wood Street, a pedestrian crosswalk across Wood Street. Bike lanes will be introduced on both the east and westbound side, and that's also where we begin the two-way bike lane. Yeah. Right now, there's one lane that is going straight on Main Street, and people queue up to make a left turn, and they... Um, they impede the flow of traffic. So what we've done is we've done some widening along um, the uh, westbound or the eastbound side, excuse me, to be able to get a left turn lane by itself here and a through lane to be able to go straight across. And on the opposite side, heading westbound, the, the approach that's there now has two lanes, a right turn that turns onto Wood Street or continues on 135. But we've introduced the, the bike lane between the two lanes. So we'll have a through lane Heading westbound, we'll have the right turn that's going on to Wood Street, and then there's the bike lane that's introduced here. And as I mentioned in the prior slide, we called out where the two-way separated bike lane begins, as it begins right at this crosswalk right across from Wood Street. He also mentioned that the 10.6 accidents per year on average at the Main Street at Cedar Grove Street intersection is higher than the recommended total from MassDOT. Because of the signal, or because Grove and Cedar Street are offset so much, we can't run the traffic signal at the same time uh, on the north and the southbound side, because the traffic would, we cross and we'd have accidents. We're proposing the sidewalk will come along and we'll have the crosswalk back here. We have the integrated bike uh, through the signal, will be more in the, in the shoulder area. This is where the uh, separated bike lane ends on the opposite side and then it continues, or the two-way separated ends, continues on the other side. So again, a clearly defined pedestrian crossing, improved bike accommodations, uh, great separated bike lane between the sidewalk, the curbing, and the street, um, and then enhanced uh, with overhead electrical wires that have been, you know, photoed, photoshopped out of the out of the picture. Just a couple of hundred feet up. So here's the Grove Street right in here. Here's CVS. So we're looking now eastbound towards Grove Street way it looks, I say, today, but a little while ago. Um, the integrated bike lane here, the separation from the roadway, separated zone from the pedestrians, and how we can, um, again, make that safer, separate those two movements. Bird's eye view, or what the landscape architects call the bird's eye view. By moving that over, we're going to line up Grove Street, so you'll be able to go straight across, make these left turns on the Main Street, um, keep the uh, CVS fully operational with the uh, bank ATM on that location, providing the connection, and then here's the, the enhanced parking places. Not everyone can probably see those, can probably stand in the way, but we've added those parking spaces in for, um, for Grove Street. So new grass, sod, and then whatever landscape and streetscape elements we're able to incorporate there, carrying the sidewalk through, you know, we remove the road and expand the park and the common area 
The separated bike in, in excuse me, separated bike and pedestrian crossings are here. The estimated total cost of the project will be $8 million, but there will still be many more meetings to go before approval. The estimated date of the MassDOT public hearing is November 27th. Many residents and downtown business owners took the opportunity to ask questions about the proposal. You can view the full Downtown Corridor Public Forum on the HCAM YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.